Hey everybody, it's me, Amby, the Anime Guru here. Um, not feeling my best today. However, I could not not upload anything on Saturday. So I'm just giving you all a quick reaction video to Unis Honest. So Unis Honest was a channel created by both Markiplier and Ethan. Markiplier's channel will be linked in the description below and also Ethan's channel will be linked in the description below. So the overall concept, and they can correct me if I'm wrong, is having 365 days to do incredible things. And at the end of that 365 days, deleting the entire channel that they had on YouTube, meaning that they were able to do something that has never been done and there would be many people after that would try and duplicate but they were the first to do it so given the real importance especially with 2020 being the way it is of saying life is very short but at the same time doing a year of doing the best you can every video to make people laugh to make people smile to give people funny moments, even with um, the pandemic that we're currently facing. So this video is going to be a reaction to, I saw recently that both Markiplier and Ethan uploaded a video talking about Unis Honest. So stay tuned for more. As they talk about Unis Honest, this is Ethan. Ethan's game channel, well, YouTube channel, is Game Cranks Play, I believe. That is so insanely weird. Yep, Crank so, Gameplay. So, so weird. I have a really hard time um, articulating emotions that I'm feeling. I can understand. Words like fine and weird. It's a thing that my therapist and I talk about. But I, in the... In the best way, I don't know how else to put this. In the best way, I'm not okay right now. Like I've never felt a feeling like this before. Mm. And it's not it's not a bad feeling. By me saying I'm not okay, I don't want people to think that that it's bad cuz it's not. I f just feel this feeling that I've never felt before. And I really don't know how to describe it. After 365 days of consecutive uploads onto Unis Honest, the channel that me, Mark, and Amy made. And also and shout out to Amy. If y'all don't know who Amy is, check it out. We check out on Mark's channel and you'll find out. Day for a year. And at the end, or on Ethan's. When the clock struck zero, we would delete everything. And we did it. Oh. We did it. We, I th gonna... think, went above and beyond anything that we expected. And for this video, I'm going to try and do something that I really don't ever do. Hmm. Um, and it's something that I have a really hard time doing. I am going to give myself some compliments and let myself have a win for once. Cause I yes, do that. You're I'm awesome. Myself. Unis Honest was something that was really, really special. And I truly think that it was something that will go down in YouTube history and something that can't be replicated. I'm going to pause right there. I agree, too. Because thinking about it, having that idea to create a channel that is dedicated to living your life to the fullest for one year's time going all out investing in editors thinking about content to post bringing joy and laughter to people's lives and gaining a lot of um subscribers and views from it just to in a sense delete it that was pure genius pure genius we're gonna keep going what we made as far as what we made was a first for the platform and the way that we did it and the tone definitely that we pushed in the content that we 
made in the way that we presented it. And even if somebody else tried to recreate Unisonis, they couldn't do it. And that is something that I am so extremely proud of. I'm proud of myself, and I'm proud of Mark, and I'm proud of Amy, and I am proud of all of the editors, and I am proud of everybody involved. Because what we did on Unis Honest was really special. A lot of people didn't get it. <laughs> That's fine. A lot of people didn't get it. I saw a video this morning uh, of somebody talking about Unis Honest, and they, they didn't understand why we were deleting the content and why once the content was gone, why we were going to try and take down people's videos of straight up re-uploads of the content. I'm going to pause again. So... I agree with that. Some people have a different view set, but my overall view set is is representing how life is short, and some sometimes there are things that you cannot avoid. I know they stated a lot that people didn't believe that they weren't going to delete the channel, but they did. They didn't. They didn't do a restart on it. They have the time of their lives for one year's time share some very very funny moments and deleted it so there will be some people out there that will be like wait Ethan and Mark had a, a channel and then we all can just look at them and be like hmm, you wouldn't even get it you wouldn't even get it let's keep watching uh, and that's fine I know that not everybody's going to get it but I just said that. Cool. A lot of people that did get it and understood the message and understood what we were trying to do. And those people were along for the ride. And it was something that meant something to those people. And that's what was special about Unis Honest. It taught all of us that everything is temporary. Mm, that's and true. And we have to make the most out of every single second. Because we will never get a single second back. I'm sorry. Y'all going to see me pausing through this a lot. But that statement resonates with me. If there is something that you want to achieve. If there's something that you want to accomplish. If there's something that even though it, it seems like it's not going well. And there will be hiccups in the road. You just have to be consistent. You have to be very, very consistent. You have your idea. You have your, your vision work hard and you will achieve so many goals but the only thing that stops you and myself is included in this is you you are your own biggest critic so if you're watching this there's something that you want to accomplish that's legal first of all do it research on it give it a try because again we all are our biggest critics. All right, that was my little, you know. And this video is kind of like a serious video, too. It's not on my typical content, but I just wanted to recognize how Unis Honest was really a game changer, and no one. There will be people doing similar things, but they were the first to do it. So, let's keep going. The clock, whether it's visible or not, is always ticking. Always. You cannot change it. You can't, you know, try and bargain for more time. You have a finite amount of time. And we gave ourselves one year. And... Despite what, what 2020 was, we rolled with it. Because you have to. You have to. That's true. And, you know, like, on a video-to-video -video basis, it wasn't this deep. But the overarching theme of the channel, you know, was make the most out of your life because it's going to end. And you have to do everything you can with the time that you have. And we did. We made the most of the time that we were given. You know, this year has been so crazy. 
and so ruthless in a bunch of different ways. And I think that 2020 was the perfect year for Unis Honest. Because I agree. they showed that and it made it more special because we did it in a year that threw everything at us. Mm-hmm. When the shit hit the fan, we still kept making stuff. And people still had things to look at in this time, too. And people had something to cling on to. And I think that that was really, really, really special. This yeah. year went by so fast. Um, and the live stream that we did yesterday went by so fast. I don't even know how to talk about the live stream. I was on the and live it, stream the whole uh, time. That morning, me and Mark and Amy were talking. And we were like, yeah. I watched it all the way through. Maybe 200,000 people there. In the Because it started at 2 o'clock my time. Room for the live stream, there was over half a million people there. And at the end, when the clock struck zero, there was over 1.5 million people watching. Which is crazy. But for me, I think the craziest thing was after we pressed delete, I went to the bathroom and I took my suit off. And I checked my phone and I went on my Twitter. um, And I just went to my timeline, which is all full of just people that I follow. So my friends, um, different people in, uh, in the industry and stuff, people that I look up to. And everybody, everybody was talking about Unis Honest and talking about the impact that it had either on them personally or the community or YouTube as a whole. And it was so cool. It was. was They did some interesting stuff on there, y'all. It was so funny. But it was serious moments, too. Much it impacted people at the end. Okay. I, I know I'm pausing again, but Another thing I liked about the Unis Honest channel, I, I'm i both subscribed to Markiplier and as well as Ethan at the same time. But I got to see, it felt on my end, I got to see a more personable side to both of them. And I, I thoroughly enjoy their interaction anyway. Because Ian... Ethan was somebody who looked up to Markiplier and to see where he is now and to see their friendship. You can tell it's genuine. You know and think about people that you may know sometimes when it comes to if you're doing YouTube or just in general. Yes, I say the word in general a lot, y'all. But you can tell when something is scripted, like when a friendship relationship is scripted but you and you can also tell when something is genuine so Ethan and Mark have a genuine friendship here and you see it okay I'm gonna I'm keep going I'm gonna finish this time I'm gonna try to finish and just how much it impacted me we did something really really special and I'm never ever gonna forget it And I am so thankful to Mark for making this channel with me. And I'm so thankful to Amy. uh, And so thankful to all all the editors. And so thankful to all of you guys. Um, You know, like, I'm getting emotional just because um, I, I feel like I felt very lost in mm. um in the last few years. And Unis Honest really reignited a lot in me and it really showed me how much I have to give and that I'm nowhere near done yet. All right it now. It showed me that I have made an impact on people and that what I do matters and that I'm good at what I do. And that's really hard for me to say. You're going to make me cry, Ethan. You're going to make me cry. I'm really good at what I do. (sighs) Okay. And I can't wait to do more. And I'm really, really thankful for all of you. Oh, Ethan, I want to hug you. 
hug from afar. So, thank you to everybody who was a part of Unis Honest. It was such an amazing journey. And it was probably the, beg- the, the best thing that I've ever been a part of. And maybe ever will be a part of. And the best thing about it was when we hit delete, and we talked about this on the on the stream, I didn't have any regret. I didn't have any, oh, wait, take it back. Because when we hit delete, I knew that we had done the best that we could with the time that we had. Yeah. And we gave it our absolute all. And we worked our asses off. I can tell. There was nothing Ooh. else that we had left to give. Yeah. Not because we were burnt out. Not because we didn't reach high enough. But because we gave it everything that we had. And everything that we that we wanted to give. And everything that we could give. And at the end, it was time to go. Because we had fulfilled our purpose. That's it. And that is such um such an extraordinary feeling <laughs> just feeling no regret and feeling no I don't even know how to describe it but it was just we did it we fulfilled our purpose and now it's time to go ah <sighs> I'm just so happy. I'm so happy to be a part of that. I'm happy I was able to watch it. Well, so much. Obviously, Unisonis is gone. I am not going anywhere. Mark is not going anywhere. Amy's not going anywhere. All the editors are not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, everybody is still going to be doing their own thing. Um, I am so excited to just go full force into my own channel. Um. Because I still have so much left to give. So, that was Ethan's version. I'm now about to pull up Mark's version. Ah. Overall importance of 365 days doing the best you can. Not taking any minute for granted. So we're going to go and look at Mark's now. Someone asked me a year ago why I was doing this, why we were making a channel and putting so much effort into it just to delete it. They didn't understand it. They couldn't understand it. They were like, it didn't make any sense. Why would someone put all that effort into something they were just going to get rid of? They were just going to throw away. And I said, it'll make sense when it ends. And I don't think that point could have been more properly articulated than last night when 1.5 million people stopped whatever they were doing to watch and pay respect to the end of Unis Anis. I was on I the live stream. That the entirety I watched of what something it is cannot be truly the whole time. appreciated until it ends. You don't look back on what it was. You don't look back on all the minutia of the detail of how it came to be until it's already gone. Mm -hmm. And then that ending, depending on how it ended, reflects entirely back on its entire life. And that was Unis Honest. It was a year's worth of work to build up to one moment. That one second before we hit the delete button. That last second. That was everything. And now it's over. And I feel fantastic. I feel better than I ever have in a long time of making stuff on YouTube. I feel fantastic. I know that a lot of people are grieving, and I'm not saying this to try to make fun of people that are, because grieving was the point. Hmm. The loss was the point. The emotions of that was the point of it. The feelings, the conflicted emotions, the 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 the... the the reluctance to let go of it. I wanted to make something that was so important that people would hate to let it go. And that's what we did. Hmm. 
That's what Ethan, Amy, and I, and everyone that worked on this did. Every day we put in the effort so that it would be so hard to say goodbye. And the harder it was, the better the content could be, and the more we put ourselves into it, the harder it would be to let go. And then we let go. Huh? And that moment of silence, when the screen went blank. Yes. The uh, channel stopped responding. My heart. And now it's over. And now I am back. 100% focused on making content on this channel. And let me tell you, I have some amazing things in the works. I'm going to take a little break. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. As you I'm should. I'm insane. I've been working my butt off for the past year. We all have. Yes. It's a collective effort of multiple people, both Amy, Ethan, the editing team, and everyone that worked behind the scenes to make Unison what it was. I owe everything to them. They are the true heroes that made Unison is something special. And now that it's over, it's time for me to immediately jump onto the next project. Wait, okay, so wait. <laughs> I love it. He's like, okay, have some, has a sad moment. All right, what's up coming next? Go ahead. So, Go on, Mark. What's happening on the horizon? Uh, Heist Two is in full production. Um, expect that. Sometime mid next year, that's gonna come out. Um, there's an. Oh, actually, I want to know. I gotta bleep all that. Um, I don't think that's right. Can we unbleep it? There's a lot of things. I want to know. Horizon, and I can't wait to make them. And also, I can't wait just to get back into great content on my channel here. And by great content, I mean I got a bone to pick with Del Monte, so I need to. <laughs> I need uh -oh. to make a serious video calling them out about their bullshit, among other great videos that I have in mind. But um, it's going to be fun. I feel very fulfilled. I feel exceptionally excited about the future. And I have goals again. I thought for a long time, you know, a few years ago that I was done with YouTube, that I might have been tapped out as a creator, hmm. that I might have seen my limit. And I thought that I was going to slow down and kind of wrap up and maybe transition to something else. But there was this spark that was lit again hmm. uh, three years ago. And ever since then, I have been getting more and more excited to make more and more incredible things. Until I slide into my grave, I will keep making things. I said on the stream yesterday, and I mean it with all my heart, I hope. I can approach my own death with the same sense of contentment and satisfaction that I walked into that last stream yesterday. Because hmm. I walked into that stream and I walked out of it feeling the same way. Satisfied. All right now. Content and happy with what we made Unis Honest to be. So thank okay. You so much for being a part of Unis Honest and making it something truly special because without you it wouldn't have mattered without me. us everybody so thank you and as always I will see you in the next video bye bye so goofy so everyone that was both Ethan and Mark's reaction post after Unis Honest Thank you all for doing that. There will be many who will try to do the same, but you both were the first. Get you some rest, regroup, and definitely make some more content. And also on the flip side of that, going back into my channel. So I appreciate you all for clicking on this video. I appreciate you all for tuning in on this video. Again, I'm not feeling my best today, but I could not let Saturday go without posting a video. And I'm going to take me some me time to regroup so I can bring you all some great content. Leave your suggestions in the comment section below and like, follow, comment, subscribe. Join me, Ambi. Join the Ambi, the Anime Guru family and always re Remember, deuce to the deuce. Yes, I did this to the deuce. Deuce to the deuce. I see y'all. I see y'all. I see y'all real soon. Eh.